What is going on guys, today we have got the storyline Senensi, I want to say is how you pronounce his name, he is the one of three. For me, it wasn't really a great pick in general, I feel like this was the only option. You've got the centre forward for, I think it was Benfica, not a bad card whatsoever, but I feel like my attack is far too strong for, for the moment and an Eredivisie player with obviously quite a few decent Eredivisie players coming into it but I feel like they're lacking in their defensive side their attacking is always known to get some decent informs decent specials so I'm hoping this play is is a pretty good one plus he already has 80 pace on his base so if you do like I have done whacked a shadow on him you do get 90 pace on the overall you'd also get 95 defend him he's two star two uh, two star two star or no two star three star in fact if i can read it right left footed medium high and he is six foot one power header and team player on the traits um in terms of everything else then agility balance isn't amazing it's 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 about average i'd say for a defender it's not like in the in the reds it's about average in my opinion reactions again not amazing composure 84 it's just doable at the moment but it is going to be more of an objective card more someone who's going to be in a squad builder for an argentinian objective or for an edivisie objective defensively fantastic a shadow will turn him into a 91 on his overall and then physical side of him is pretty fantastic as well so that's why you wouldn't really go for the anchor just because 90 strength is already in play there and you want to max out that pace and that defending as much as possible so let's jump into some games with him see what he's all about this is i think the first story line card that i've done i think these are the sort of cards that i really kind of miss out on so i'll try in future to try and get all three if i can obviously there is multiple people who choose different options to me so if i can go and get them then obviously i will try more than likely on level 30 of anything but the one thing i think with these storylines is they're already so behind the curve even from literally season one by the time you get to either level 15 or level 30 your team is already leaps and bounds above every single one, which I suppose they can't always give you a player that's going to improve your team because it all depends on your pack look. But it's always a nice card to get in your club, if in doubt. Sen. He's got to come over, gets that interception, or that block at the very least. Oh, he leaves him right over and always missed that with Semedo. Lucky that was Semedo and not a striker. Sen with another cracking tackle, really making a meal out of it for myself. But we get it away. We see Cantona on that through ball. It's going to be all the way. Ah, oh, why didn't he go fully across? Sen coming up for the cleanup. Let's have a look at his pace, actually. 90 pace. I'm expecting him to be relatively quick for a defender as such, because obviously a 90 paced winger would genuinely be a lot quicker than a centre back, and that's just natural. In terms of kind of catch up, defenders always seem to be more more quicker Sen taking it away again just at the last moment Sen with a lovely challenge Sen wins the ball back again been very efficient in the uh, in the overall of games for him obviously made plenty of challenges already Sen's got his work cut out for him again and does manage to win the foul. He just gets his foot on it and then does manage to get the uh, the foul that comes with it as well. Sen. Oh, no, Carlos Alberto's getting in on the, on the action. He's, he's missing his review. We need to get another Alberto at some point. Sen dispossesses. Lovely. The guy's getting frustrated with that every time now. That's going to be a great save from Van der Sar and then an unlucky EA rebound once more. Roberto Carlos missing his position. Sen's had to come across, leaving it open. Roberto Carlos seems to always move out of position for some reason. And I really liked him last year. Um, we've used his prime, but nothing else yet. I really want his prime moments to see what that's all about. And he's gonna he's got competition this year with prime moments, Ashley Cole, Lam, and then obviously himself. So, quite an interesting one. Sensei holding off Malin. Not quite going to get there. We've got Carlos Alberto waiting, and he's always there for a block at the very least. AI orientated, very, very good to uh, just put him in the way. Six foot two, he's bound to be a nice big unit to kind of hit. Sen, Sen, good header. Always again, expect it. Sen with a beautiful challenge there, runs completely over him. Sen always going to win that one. As soon as you get a foot race with an attacker, more than likely Sen will put the burners on and absolutely blitz them. Sen again. Gets the cut in from Cucurella and he just cannot get that tackle in. Sen. 
gets done from that La Croqueta and then still manages to make it. We got a second chance with Malin. We know he likes his La Croqueta, so we've got to watch out for that one personally, even if it is the 80th in the game. Sen with a final touch of the game there, winning it for us in the dying seconds. That beautiful ball from Lam into then, I think it was Ronaldo, and then into Messi to win the game. So we have got big boy Sen here. Obviously, storyline card. Um, if we do, I wonder, can we even go and have a look at the storylines? Which ones there is? If we go with versions, and then we have a look. If anyone can spot storylines, shout it out to me. I feel like, oh, there it is, objective. I've got to go all the way back up again. There it is. So, you've got the choice between, if we can find them, brand new. We've got this guy right here. He looks relatively good. Like, four-star, four-star, center forward for Benfica. Very, very nice card indeed. You obviously have got big boy Sen. feel like he's a cracking center back. And then you have Dembele. So, for me, Dembele is already thrown in the bin. Don't really fancy him. Don't really need him. He's just not quite enough for me i feel like it was a major choice between a a german benfica center forward or a dutch argentinian center back and i think for me i've got a lot of attackers you do tend to get more attackers than defenders in special cards and objectives and also probably more in packs you get more defenders which is fair enough but normally they're they're pretty much the the lowest ones whereas i think this guy definitely can put in a shift here i feel like he's the better better option out of everyone for me and obviously that shadow does turn him into a 91 center back which you can't really get for free all the time. I feel like as an Eredivisie player, if you do have a look at their league, you've now got quite a, a nice amount of specials. You've got Kaliber if you did him, Tadic, Malin. You've got Anthony, Robin. Now you've got him full of the milestone cards as well. It's very, very nice indeed. You've got a nice little centre-back partner who would also have about 88 pace if you was to choose him in uh, the partnership of him. Promes has got himself a road to the final and you've got plenty more with Graven Birch, I think he's called... And, and this is it. We're not even at team of the season yet. I feel like this guy could definitely fit into this team and do quite well. In terms of his overall, I felt like pace was not a problem. Very, very nice indeed. Bit clunky, which I think is expected on some centre-backs. Um, personally, with the agility and balance he has, I wasn't expecting him to be this uh, guy who can turn 180 in literally 0.0 of a second. But I expect him to be a little bit quicker on that turn. Sometimes it was a little bit of an issue, especially going against the top boys like an Mbappe. A Neymar, I think, would absolutely turn him. But the pace may be able to kind of recover him that little bit more. It just depends on where you're defending from. From a drop back, if you're not very good at it, I probably wouldn't be using him. If you're looking at a high line, that's when I'd be using him because he'll have that pace to increase um, kind of like his sprint speed by the end. Obviously, be wary that his sprint speed is considerably lower than his acceleration. So he's going to have a quick burst rather than the kind of longevity of his pace. So make sure that you remember that. If someone's already away from you, swap out because he'll have that quick burst and then he'll start to slow down. That's always one thing that you've got to watch. When you look at the, the paces and overall, you need to look at the in-games most definitely. Defending-wise, tackling is absolutely fine. Physicals were fantastic. And overall, his passing wasn't awful 85 and 83 i feel like you can live with and obviously that is dropped down due to the fact he's got 26 and 36 free kick accuracy and 36 curve obviously dribbling wise composure is just on the the kind of the tipping point of not being usable in terms of you'd want better but in terms of an air divisier player it's very very good but overall, I feel like he's a good centre-back. Um, I wouldn't rate him as a foot champs player or a rivals, but I would say objectives. Like I said, Air Divisier, Argentinian. You've got plenty of room to grow there. Um, so hopefully you did enjoy this video. I'm personally giving him an 8 out of 10. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you for the next one. Peace.